Hi guys, this is Dylan with Ellis Home and Garden in Longview. Um, guys, I'm coming to you guys with another decorating video. We've had lots of requests, lots of input for cemetery work and cemetery saddles. Um, I came to you guys last week, I believe. Um, I believe it was on a Thursday and I showed you guys how we did a cemetery cone. So today I'm going to come to you like I promised yesterday with a cemetery saddle video. So I'm going to replicate what we did on the um, cone and we're going to do it on the saddle. So guys, I want to thank you again for watching yesterday. We had a great time on the video. I showed you guys how to do three different options of lanterns. So guys, as you're, as you're watching today, put your name down below, where you're watching from, where you're coming from, anything that you want to see, any requests on new content, new material, put that down below and let me know. And we will definitely take that into account when we plan our next video. So again, guys, before we get started, I want to remind everybody that we're doing a designer for a day giveaway. So if you missed the opportunity yesterday or you missed our video, guys, go back and watch it. We had a great time, great fun. I had a lot of fun interacting with you guys. Um, we're doing a designer for a day giveaway so what you have to do is you have to go on our Facebook page we have a graphic on there with a post that talks about what we're doing you can you and a friend can win a chance to come and design with me or one of our designers at our locations guys you get $75 to spend on a wreath or an arrangement of your choice we get to do it on Facebook live so you get to be on the video with me you get to do your choice of your arrangement or your uh, wreath so again, you go on our Facebook page, you like it, you share it, and you comment that you have done both. And what that does is it puts you in the drawing to win a chance to come and decorate with me, guys. And we'll have a great time. We'll get on the video here and let everybody see what you're doing, what you doing here, what you learn. So go do that. And the winner will be uh, announced this Saturday, March 10th, guys. So make sure you sign up. It's already Wednesday. We don't have much time left. So go do it because you don't want to miss that opportunity. Uh, let's see who's watching before we get started. Let's see. Uh, hi, Natalie. Hi, Josh and Trudy. Stephanie, hey Kim, uh, hi Deborah and Tracy and Rita, let's see, Trisha, I'm not sure about the live plans, I'll have to go and ask Mark about that, he's not here today, but we'll definitely come back and answer your question on the video, um, for sure, hi Trina, all right guys, thank you Linda, again guys, I hope everybody's having a beautiful day, beautiful morning, it's a beautiful day outside, it got cold again, you know about this Texas weather, one day it's freaking raining, like I said, it's sunny, and now it's kind of cool, but hey, I'll take the sun anytime. Hi Doreen, hi Linda, all right guys, so again, if you're just joining us, we're coming to you from Longview, and I'm going to show you guys today how to do a cemetery saddle, because everyone has been wondering, and these cemetery tips and tricks that I'm going to show you are something that I want everybody to watch and learn from, because um, everyone at one point in their life has gone to the cemetery and put flowers out for their loved one and you know they everybody has their own technique and own way of doing it which is totally fine and so do I but I'm gonna show you my way of doing a saddle guys and this is just a basic saddle that's gonna match that cone we did the other day and you can take these techniques and stuff that I'm going to show you and you can definitely enhance them and you know embellish the, the crap out of the saddle and really put you know more in it but I'm just gonna show you the basics so that you can take those basic uh, tricks and tips again like I'm going to show you and uh, go from there and really just blow it out of the park. Hi Glenda. Let's see. Hi Patty. She said she's getting snow. Oh my gosh. Hi Judith. <clears throat> All right, guys, so when you do a saddle, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find a form that you're going to use. So we're going to use this metal form right here. This is just a basic form that you would put on the top of a tombstone. And if, if, you're, if you're watching and not familiar with what a, a saddle is, saddle is the thing. It looks flat right now. You bend these down, and it goes over the top of the tombstone. So that layer of flowers you see when you go to the cemetery to visit your loved one, that is what that is called. And it's fine if you don't know that because a lot of people don't. That's why I'm here to show you. Uh... So, okay guys, and then you're gonna pick out your choice of styrofoam, I just blew that in my eye. Um, this is just a basic piece, and what I did is I found a piece of styrofoam that matched directly with those little spikes on the back of there, and that's all I'm gonna need. You don't need a huge piece of styrofoam, the only way you would need larger than this piece right here, which I'm not exactly um, the size that this is, but the only way you would need a much larger size is if you were doing like a casket spray, if you needed something with length on it and width, or if you just wanted a huge um, saddle. So for this particular saddle, you're just gonna use this size right here. Hi, Tammy, thank you. Nancy asked if she could use this for a mailbox cover, and you definitely could. Hi, Sheila and Dory. <clears throat> All right, so to put this on here, hey Andy, the most, the easiest way to put this on here, guys, is just to take a styrofoam and lay it on the counter. Let's see if I can get it where you can see. And you're gonna lay those spikes and just press it down. Be careful and don't uh, smash your hand. All right, so that's what you do right there. And that basically just secures your styrofoam onto the frame that you're gonna use for the saddle that we're gonna make today. 
Now, you can leave it like this, but guys, I'm gonna put hot glue on here and some Dixon pins and secure it, and the reason I'm doing that is because, like I say, I don't wanna spend all this time and money on something I'm gonna put at the cemetery. A freaking gust of wind comes and it blows that thing down the road. Uh, ain't nobody got time for that. So, <clears throat> we're going to make sure we secure it, and you wanna make, make sure you secure it um, at your home, too, when you do this. Hi, Cindy. All right, so, if anyone's not familiar with what a Dixon pin is, it's what it looks like right here. Um, it's got a little metal thing in the middle, and it bends, so it looks like this. So what I use these for is I'm going to place them right here. <clears throat> and see, it just anchors uh, the styrofoam to the frame. Hi, Phaedra. Hi, Maureen. So we're gonna do that all the way down. And again, that's what, that do, what that's doing is anchoring the styrofoam onto the frame that we're using. Okay. So we're gonna put about three of those. And there's no uh, wrong or right, right way to do it. You just wanna make sure you push them down flush with the styrofoam so that this right here does not rub the top, top of your uh, tombstone or your marker. All right, once you have secured those Dixon pins in there, and again, if you're just watching, guys, the reason we did that is we wanna make sure our styrofoam is secured to the frame and it's not popping off. Hi, Lisa, hi, Betty, and Kelly, and Debbie. <clears throat> All right, so now you wanna get your glue. Ooh glue gun i had extension cord yesterday i was used to it and you want to go back where you put those dixon pins and just put some glue over it okay and that's really going to help uh just again secure that down my glue stick in hope everybody's having a good day let's see kelly i'm good how are you hi sandra and you want to make sure that you guys put a lot of glue on here because again and you can never have too much out when it's windy outside and the weather, you know, weather's crazy. You never know what it's gonna do. You wanna make sure this is secured. Okay, so I just put the glue on there right on top of those Dixon pins and what that's doing is just gonna anchor that down and really hold it in place. Hi Gladys and Kat. Gladys, I'm glad that you found us too. And Trisha, thank you so much. <clears throat> Did you guys watch The Voice last night? I'm gonna let this dry for a minute. Did you guys watch The Voice? I watched it and um, nobody's really blown me away yet. I mean, usually like the first day of The Voice, I'm like, oh my God, I found the person that's gonna win. But um, I don't know, there were some good people on there. But you guys let me know if you watched. Let's see, Vicky's asking, so the frame is not already attached to the styrofoam. No, it's not, Vicky. What happens is this frame comes by itself and then you have the sheets of styrofoam because they come separate because sometimes you can put larger sheets of styrofoam if you're doing a larger project. So you can use the same particular frame for a casket spray or mailbox cover like someone mentioned earlier. It's multi-purpose. And um, so this is uh, the styrofoam we're choosing today and that's why you wanna make sure that you secure it. Hi, Missy. Misty, guys, I just haven't found one either. Let's see. Jan says she feels sorry for Adam. Oh my gosh. I love I love their connection on there. American Idol's about to start back up. I was kind of leery because they canceled that show and it ran for so freaking long. I was like, oh, they need a break. But I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it is because I love singing shows. If I could do anything, guys, if I could if I could uh, grant myself a wish, it would be to sing. And if I could sing, I'd be singing for you right now on this video. But I'm not gonna do it today. I don't wanna break your phones. Let's see. Uh, hi, Mia. Hi, Vicky. <clears throat> okay, so my glue has dried. So now, guys, what you want to do is you're gonna bend these metal pieces down as you would put it on the tombstone that you're gonna place it on um, before you begin your project, okay? And how you do that is I just grab them on each side and I pull down just like this. I'll show you my muscles that I've been working on. All right, this side too. And this is what they look like now. What this does is it kind of just creates an anchor and helps you secure it. As you can see, let me back this up just a little bit. <laughs> Andy, I had too much wine last night. I can't have any more. Let's see. Hi, Sandra. <clears throat> oh, no, girl, we're not singing. I can't do it. <laughs> All right. So, guys, what that did, again, it just kind of lifts this up and elevates it off the ground before you start your project. And I like to do this before because once you get flowers and stuff on here, it's hard to get your hand underneath here and really bend this the way that you want. So, you want to bend it to begin with and bend it before you place any flowers or any greenery on here. Hi, Angela. Hi, Cindy. All right. So once you have your uh, edges bent on your saddle, just like this, then you're gonna go back and you're gonna start with your greenery. All right, so this is the particular greenery that we're gonna use today, guys. It's the most common in cemetery work, whether you're doing saddles, whether you're doing cones, and we used it in the cone that I showed you a couple weeks ago. It's called Leatherly Fern. <clears throat> it's really inexpensive, and basically what you're gonna do with this, it's for a filler, and it creates an outline like we always do before we begin a project. Hi, Summer and Colleen and Cindy. 
Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna tear these apart just like this, okay? Get your wire cutters. Someone asked yesterday to see my wire cutters on the thing. This is what they look like. You can buy wire cutters, guys, at any hardware store, Walmart. Just go in the hardware aisle, uh, electrical aisle, I'm sorry, and you can find you some good wire cutters. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna trim these off a little bit. So I have just about maybe like a, a two inch stem on there. And this is what I'm gonna use to create my backdrop. So we're gonna start at the end of the saddle here, and we're gonna put three pieces, one in the center and then one off to each side, okay? And I have my glue over here behind me today, so it's much more convenient. And guys, if you have any questions about what we're doing while you're watching, put your name down below where you're watching from and any questions or comments that you have, and I will answer those live on the video. All right, guys, so what we have done is we put three pieces on the end of the styrofoam, okay? We put one going straight up and then one going on each side. It kind of creates a fan effect. I can fan myself over here. <laughs> uh, a fan effect, and that's what we're going to go do from here, okay? Susan, we're filming today in the Longview, Texas location, but Ellis has, I feel like I'm Tarzan with all these leaves. Um, we have four locations, though. They're all available on our website, ellishomingarden.com. Hopefully, you can find one near you. And, guys, if you come... Uh, Diana, no one died yet, but in case, we are going to show you. Um, you know, but hopefully you can find one near you and come see us. Hi, um, Marsha. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to do the same thing on the other end, guys. So I'm going to cut some more. Now, we put them on this end, so now we're going to do them down here on this end, okay? I'm going to show you again. We put one in the center, just like that, and then one on each side from left to right. Good morning, Diana and Jamie. Jamie, my name is Dylan. <clears throat> if we have any first time watchers today, make sure you leave a comment and let us know. Oh, well, thank you, Dorothy. Can you see me swinging from vines? Those things would snap, crackle, and pop, and I would fall on the ground. Okay. It's too much body to be wearing all that, that little thing he wears. Mm -mm. Can't do it, girl. All right, guys, this is what we have so far, okay? So we've created the fan effect on the top and the bottom of the styrofoam, and now we're gonna do it on the sides, okay? So we have the side over here, and I'm doing this not on top of the styrofoam up here, guys, on the edges on the end, so if you can see that well right there, okay? Let's see. Hi, Joanne, hi, Vicki. Um, uh, Edna's asking what we're making, and guys, I'm, I hate to repeat myself, because um, I know a lot of people say, you know, I talk too much, but that's just who I am. But anyway, um, we're making a cemetery saddle. So if you guys watched last week, we showed you how to do the cemetery cone. I've had lots of requests on how to do the matching saddle. So I'm coming to you guys today to show you how to do that. Hi, Dale. Uh, hi, Julie. Hi, Misty. <clears throat> All right. So once you have your greenery on the tops and the bottoms, we're going to go back and we're going to do the side. Uh, Latoya, I'm dipping my uh, stems in hot glue. It's right here behind me. All right, so I'm gonna trim those off again, and I'm going to place them on the sides now, guys. I'm gonna put one in the center, like we did before, and I'm gonna put one on each side, okay? So the same concept we're going to do. Okay, one in the center, just like that. Hey, Morgan, let's see. Yeah, guys, I like to have the glue skillet over here because it's much more convenient and it's accessible to me, and I like to dip and do it, okay? I like to dip the glue in there. It's much easier than having a string of a glue gun all over the place. <clears throat> Let's see. Latoya, is it's her first video. Well, welcome to the family, girl. I'm glad that you found us. I'm glad you're here this morning. And again, I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Hi, Nadia. All right. <clears throat> Dale, we were talking just a minute ago about The Voice last night, and, you know, we really just can't pinpoint who we think is going to win like we usually can. Uh, so leave a comment. Let everybody know who you think is going to win. Um, there was some good people last night, but it's just not... Like it used to be, I don't know. We're just we're still hanging in there, and we're gonna keep watching. Hi, Courtney and Cindy. Cindy, I'm gonna get me some personalized T-shirts. Hashtag Dip and Do It. Let's see. Tracy, thanks for watching. Girl, we're making a cemetery saddle. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this from start to finish because, like a lot of us, we have loved ones, and you're gonna go to the cemetery at one time or the other. And I want you guys to be able to make your own saddle for your loved one. So what we're doing is we're putting the greenery on there, and what this is doing is making the foundation for all the flowers and all the materials that we're going to add. Hi, Connie. Let's see. Um, Marie, I'm glad you're watching. Now is your chance. You can take these techniques that I'm gonna show you today and really uh, go with it. Hey, Sharita. Hey, Nancy. Nancy's a first-timer. Well, thanks for watching, and I'm so glad you found this. <clears throat> 
All right, guys, so this is the outline that we have created. And if you're just joining us, guys, we're coming to you from the Longview, Texas location. I'm going to tell you one more time. We did a, a cemetery cone last week. I've asked you guys to put your request in the comment bar below and let me know what you'd like to see with any new content or new material. And I've listened, guys, and we did the cone. And now I'm going to show you how to do the matching cemetery saddle. So if you're just joining us, we're coming to you from Longview. My name is Dylan. If it's your first time watching, leave a comment. Give us a shout out. Give us a thumbs up and let us know you're watching and if you like what you see. Um, so I created the styrofoam on the base here and then I put the greenery and that's what that did is created a foundation for all the flowers we're going to add. Let's see. Uh, Diana, we do have a location in Bossier. Uh Connie's a first timer. Hey girl. Um, hi Misty. Misty, I love farmhouse designs. It's one of my favorite. People hate on me all the time because they say everything I like is beige. I don't have any color. But I did color for so long that I had to get rid of that crap. I needed some beige in my life and I'm fine with that. Hi, Jackie. Thank you. And Julie, it's her first time. Um, Sandra is asking about replays, guys. Any videos that you have missed in the past, you can go to our Facebook page at Ellis Home and Garden, click on the video tab at the top, and all of our videos are listed on there. We started at Christmas. I showed you guys how to do a Christmas tree, a garland. All that stuff is all in there, and the cemetery cone that we did that we're matching today. So go on there and check that out for sure. Hi, Lee. <clears throat> all right. So, I have my foundation. So now the next thing you wanna do, hey Katie, is you wanna pick your selection of flowers, guys. Selection of flowers is basically in your hands, it's up to you. So, you know, you can pick something that matches whatever you're trying to achieve, um, whether it be for a man or woman. Someone asked on the last video about, you know, if you have a man that passed away, then I would choose, you know, something darker, something more manly, something not so feminine. Today, excuse me, the reason I'm using these pink flowers is because I use pink flowers in the cemetery cone, and I'm just gonna replicate what we did so that if you do like to put two, cones on each side and you'd like to put the um, saddle in the center you can do this and Jean again asking everybody's asking if this particular thing because it's on this stand the saddle stand will work on a mailbox and definitely I've never tried that but it can and if you do use these for a mailbox guys send us your photos at, on our slip in the DMs okay send us those photos and I want to see uh, thanks Adrian hi Cheryl and Sandra uh, I can't wait for you guys to uh, to learn now, like to see all of your designs, okay? So, I'm gonna choose these pink flowers. The reason I like these is because they've got different blooms on them, different types of flowers, some daisies, some lilies, and some roses, and there's different um, textures of color here as well, and shades of color. So we're gonna remove those trashy tags. That's what my, sh my uh, shirt needs to say. Someone said a minute ago I need a t-shirt that says dip and do it. <clears throat> I need someone that says trashy tags because that's what I always say, remove those. Connie says she's been with me on our journey. I'm, th I'm so thankful, Connie, that you're here and for everybody watching, interacting. I love you guys for watching. All right, I'm gonna trim off all of these flowers before we begin. And guys, just like with uh, the cemetery cone, a no-no, which I told you guys don't do, is to stick this whole thing in the cone, that ain't cute, or to stick this whole thing in here. You wanna make sure you cut each and every stem off and then go from there, because I'm gonna show you how to position them inside of the styrofoam to really create that beautiful saddle that you always wanted to do. Let's see. Pauline, our videos are on our Facebook page. You just go to the video tab at Ellis Home and Garden and all of the past videos are listed on there. And guys, if you like what you see, do us a favor and share this video for us, okay? Share this video and go on our Facebook page because we're doing a designer uh, for a day giveaway. So you can get, win a chance to come work with me, guys, for a day. $75 value on a wreath or an arrangement. Go and like the post that's on our Facebook page, the designer giveaway post. Share that post, guys. Comment that you did both, and you'll be, have a chance to win. We're going to announce the winner on Saturday. So if we have any new viewers, guys, good morning. Hope you're having a great day. And go and sign that. And share this video for me, too, guys. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna start with our pink rose and we're gonna start right here in the center of our saddle. Now, height is something that you wanna take into account when you do a saddle because you don't want a saddle that's sticking this high up because again, you're gonna be at the cemetery, there's gonna be wind blowing around and that wind will get under there and pick that up and it will catch it off. So, um, let's see. Liz is asking about my wire cutters again. Liz, there's no particular name. You can just purchase them at Walmart or something on the electrical aisle. All right. <clears throat> So height is very important. So I don't have a ruler over here, so we're just gonna like eyeball this. But once you put it on here, I'm gonna cut that off. This is about a foot long and that's way too long. So you're gonna take your wire cutters and trim it off. Okay. We're gonna place our first stem with some glue right here in the center. Okay, so that's about six inches tall from the styrofoam. So for all of those wondering or anyone who's ever wanted to do a saddle and didn't know about the height, 
about six inches. You don't want to get it too tall because it just begins to be too much. Remember, sometimes less is more. Hi, Gail and Patty. All right, and Adrian's coming to us from London. I hope you're having a good day, Adrian. Let's see. Dorothy, again, yes, you can probably use this for a mailbox as well if that's something that you wanted to do. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work one side at a time, just like we always do. So I'm going to work over here on the right side, and then I'm going to replicate what I did over here on the left side. <clears throat> and guys, this is my technique that I'm showing you. If you do this at home and you do it a different way, that's totally cool. But, you know, it's just easier for me to show you guys and teach you and guide you on this process, you know, if I do it one side at a time. So as you go, you want to alternate your bloom. So you don't want to put three roses in a row. You want to alternate. It's kind of like if you have different color stuff, red, green, and white. You don't want all the red stuff in a row. You want to put them and alternate them as you go. Okay. Hi, Gina and Joe. Um, hi, Cindy. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go right here beside it. Put some glue on there. And you want to make sure you leave the blooms about the same length as you go um, over here on the right side. Okay. Hi, Betty. All right, so now I'm gonna get um, the, these daisies, okay? And I'm gonna put them over here on this side. Okay, so again, guys, if you're just joining us, I appreciate it. I hope you're all having a great morning. We're coming to you from the Longview location at Ellis Home and Garden, it's still in. And I started with the center here with the red rose, and then I'm going to go down to the right, okay? And I'm slightly, okay, slightly going down a little bit at a time as I go. And we're going to work our way all the way to the end of that piece of styrofoam. So guys, we've created that first layer. As you can see here, we started with the rose in the center and we have gone down, okay? We did it on the right side. And if you're just joining us, guys, we created a foundation with this leather leaf fern. We did that on the edge of the um, thing. Here's the back side, so you can kind of see an outline of what we've got going so far. Um, Jamie, I'm dipping my stems in hot glue. This is hot glue over here. And someone asked about how we secure the styrofoam. We use Dixon pens. You can buy these pens, guys, any floral shop or here at Ellis, and you secure them on there and then put some hot glue. And what that does is it keeps um, your star from attached to the frame that you are using. All right. Joe's asking, um, do you keep the stems the same height? And you do, Joe, um, but as you keep them the same height, you slightly get them shorter as you walk down to the end of the thing. Hi, Chelsea. Uh, let's see. Deco Exchange, we would, Damon, I've got your name now. We would love for you to come see us. I'd love to meet you. Uh, let's see. Hi, Liz and Diane. All right, guys. <clears throat> so we've done this side. It's going to be on my, my right side. So now we're going to do the left side. And we're, we're going to do again. We're going to replicate what we do on this side onto this side. Okay. Diane, well, we're glad that you watch. Okay. So I'm going to put this over here. And we're going to go on this side with the same thing. Okay, so I put the other stem in right there so y'all can see it. Okay. Abigail's asking why I put the glue on the end. Abigail, the glue is on there so that it will secure it to the styrofoam. Okay. Okay, so this is what we've got so far, guys, from the front view, okay? From the side view, you can kind of see. We start at the top, we're slightly going down, kind of making like an oval, like a roller coaster. <laughs> I ain't gonna be on the roller coaster, though. I ain't trying to throw up, be sick. <clears throat> That's not a good look. Let's see. Hi, Devin and Martha. <clears throat> okay. And if you guys missed yesterday's video, I showed you guys how to do three different options of lanterns. And all that stuff's still on our Facebook page. You just go to the video tab, and you can find all of our past uh, videos. And a lot of them are so much fun. We had a great time. I always have different interactions, different talks with people. Well, that doesn't sound good. Um, and clean up on aisle three. But anyway, um, you know, so you can go in there and check out those past videos. <laughs> Hi, Courtney and Liz and Evelyn. 
All right, so this is what we've done so far. We've got the center, okay? I'm gonna stand back so you can see right here, okay? Now, once you have that center strip done, I'm going to start on one side and do one side of the cemetery saddle at the time, okay? I'm gonna try to turn it where you can see. Door, uh, door we're, watching, we're making a cemetery saddle. Thanks, Mark. Okay, so we started here in the center and we're gonna kinda go down to the right side, okay, on the front of here. And again, we're gonna alternate our flowers the best that we can. I chose a, a bush here that's got multiple blooms on it. It's got daisies, uh, lilies, and roses. So you wanna make sure you don't put all five roses in a row or all kind of in the same area. You want to, you know, mix and match things and get them all um, different as you go, okay? Linda and Melody. Melody, I can see you. Uh, hi, Karen. Debbie. Okay, so I'm going to start with this uh, daisy. Okay, and I'm going to put it right here. And again, you want to keep the height on top about the same. Okay, so you see these two flowers? The height is about the same. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Abigail. <clears throat> Abigail's asking about live flowers, and I am not sure. I don't do live flowers. You have to put those in a special type of foam so that way um, they stay watered and stuff, and I'm not sure about that. I like to stick with artificials because I can bend them and I can shape them, and I don't have to worry about them breaking or dying because, guys, I can kill anything. <clears throat> okay, so from the front view, this is what we have so far. I'm gonna keep showing, um, you know, different angles so you guys can get uh, a view of, you know, every angle and what we're doing, because I know it's kind of hard to see. I don't have Dina here with me today, so I'm just gonna to come to you guys from a desk and we'll make it work. Uh, Dora, this is Ellis Home and Garden. And make sure as you continue, guys, you bring your stems all the way out to the end almost of that leather leaf fern, because what that does is it's there for a foundation and you wanna make sure that you cover that um, you know, as you go. And that's gonna kinda keep you in line. You don't want your flowers, I'm glad I brought that up. You don't want your flowers, guys, to ever come out past your greenery, okay? So if your greenery stops here, don't have your flower coming out over here, okay? That ain't a good look. So you wanna make sure you keep it within the lines. It's kinda like coloring. Um, you know, you color within the lines, you wanna stay within the lines of this greenery here, okay? Hi, Linda, hi, Gail. Okay. Go back over here. It's getting around lunchtime, guys. Is everybody getting their lunch ready to eat? Um, I am starving. Leave me in the comment. Let me know what you're eating for lunch. Let's see. Hi, Linda. It will work with tulips, and tulips are great for spring, and that will take you all the way, excuse me, all the way through, you know, early summer. So, you could definitely do it with them as well. Hi, Beth. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna put one more flower and I'm gonna show you guys what we have got going so far on the side, okay? Hi, Judy, this is Longview, Texas. So we're in Texas, okay? Damon said he had a snack wrap from Wendy's. That sounds good right now. At this point, I'll eat anything. Okay. So Damon, I see you're on here a lot. Where are you from? Where do you, uh, where do you live at? Are you in Texas as well? Okay, guys, <clears throat> so. This is what we've got so far on the side. As you can see, it's halfway done, okay? And we've got all the flowers. I alternated them here as well. And I came out almost to the tip of that greenery because like I said, you wanna make sure you stay within the line, so to speak, and you don't put your flowers out past the greenery because that's not gonna turn out right. And like I always say, shape is most important. When you're done with the project, sometimes less is more. You wanna make sure you have a shape in mind before you begin a project, whether it be the saddle, whether it be a cone, whether it be a Christmas tree, whatever it may be. Hi, Susan and Gail, Karen. Ooh, butcher shop burger. Mm, that sounds good. Y'all can see I done blew my diet. Blew it. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna replicate what we did there on this other side over here. Uh, Andy, we're doing a cemetery saddle. Okay, I'm gonna turn this so y'all can see. As y'all can see, I can move everything because every one of these stems is on a piece of wire, so it's really easy to maneuver, okay? 
And guys, if you have any new watchers, any first time watchers, please leave a comment. Tell us how. Let us know you're a new watcher and share this video, guys. I'd appreciate it so much. Oh, everybody's making me so hungry. Hi, Lola. Thank you uh, so much. Hi, Lee and Katie. Okay. A lot of people are still eating breakfast. Um, I get here early, so usually by the time like 10, 30, 11 comes around, I'm hungry for lunch. Okay. okay, I'm gonna keep showing you guys as we go. So what we're doing is we're just continuing this out on one side, and we've just done one side. So see, you still have this whole other side that we're gonna create over here um, as we go. Okay, hi Angela. Okay, keep alternating your flowers because again, you don't want um, the same blooms next to each other. So this is what we've got so far, okay? Hi, Karen. And guys, any questions that you have, please leave a comment down below. Ask me those questions, even if it's not about, um, you know, even if it's not about this particular saddle. Leave a question if it's about decorating, and I'll answer all those the best that I can. And guys, you always know, if I don't know, I'll make something up and make you believe it. <laughs> Let's see. Um, hi, Connie. Um, Melody, this is Longview, Texas, but we have four locations as well. Candy, I'm sad to see that too. Let's see. Tammy, I am. I'm dipping my stems over here in the hot glue. All right, so we're going to continue to add, and we're almost completed with this one side as far as the, the blooms go. And then we're going to do the same thing over there on the other side. Hi, Pam. How are you? How'd your um, letter turn out? Did you spray it? Leave a comment and let me know. Thanks, Tabitha. Let's see, Brenda said, what a wonderful thing to do for you cannot make floor arrangement. Thank you, Brenda, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you found us and welcome to our family here at Ellis. Um, hi, Dorothy. Guys, this is Ellis Humming Garden. Let's see, Pamela, I know, I just am not, I can't even do it. Hi, Deidre. All right. So as you can see, we have one space left, so we're gonna put one more flower. Okay. Hi, Sandy. Well, thank you. Um, Melody's asking about a bow, and Melody, we are going to put um, a bow on here at the end. So y'all stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to do all of that stuff. Okay. Last flower on this side. Okay. So this is what it looks like so far, guys, okay? And turn it on this side. So you see, we've only created half of it. We started in the center, and we're doing one side of it at the time. Okay? So there's that side. Here's from the... I'll, try, I'll show you all from all angles. Okay? Let's see. Uh, thank you, Bill. Hi, Renee. And guys, we, do, we are going to have more videos. I try to come to you with new content and material each and every week several times. But any guys who are just watching, we have past videos you can find on our Facebook page. Go to the tab that says videos and you can find them all on there. Okay. Hi, Krista. Welcome. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And uh, for all those wondering, we used one bush of flowers here on that one side of the saddle. So when we get done with this, we're going to use two bushes full of blooms. To put on this size. Hi, Chelsea. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So you see we have the empty space here. And we're going to, like we did before, you're going to take your bush of flowers and you're going to cut all these flowers off. Don't stick the whole thing in there because that is not good. Sabrina, I would love to. Um, hi, Dottie. Okay. So we're going to trim all these up. Allison's asking if I work with fruit. Sometimes, Allison, it depends on the project, depends on kind of what I'm decorating, but you can definitely always put a stem or a pick on the bottom of your piece of artificial fruit and you can insert that into your uh, design, okay? 
Hi Nelda, all you have to do is turn on your notifications and you will get an alert that shows when we're live. All right, so I'm gonna start on this side. Again, I'm gonna do the right side kind of first in the little section, and then I'm gonna go back to the left side, okay? Alternate your blooms. And guys, you can do this with any type of flower. You don't have to use these particular ones that we're showing here. So, you know, if uh, these are not accessible to you or near you, that's so, that's fine, guys. Candy, oh my God, El Sombrero sounds so good. Hi, Gail and Lucy. If y'all don't know me, you know, we always talk about food. I am a Mexican food lover. I could eat Mexican food every single day for every meal. Everyone makes fun of me. I mean, you give me some guacamole and a margarita and some chips, um, we're good to go. I don't care about the rest. I don't need enchiladas. I just need those three things. Um, hi, Kara. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. So, I've added two flowers, and I'm just going to go down and create the same thing. Okay. I see a lot of people from Dallas. I love to go to Dallas, but ooh, it gets me in trouble. I love to shop. I have a shopping problem. But I do love to go. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you. We have any first time watchers, guys? Will you do me a favor and share this video? I'd appreciate it. And I want to welcome you to our family here at Ellis. We come to you each and every week with new content, new material. And I love to show you guys how you can create um, amazing designs using pro, uh, pro, uh, excuse me, materials that you already have at your house. Sometimes, because if you're like me, and you know, and I, like I said, I have a shopping problem. I have a lot of stuff I've collected over the years, and nothing in my house is trash. I turn all my trash into treasure, and I uh, try to create, you know, something beautiful out of everything. And most of the time, it can't happen. All right, so this is what we've got so far. As you can see, this bottom half is completely done as far as the blooms go. And then we're gonna finish this particular side up here, okay? Hi, Linda, thank you. You guys have, while I'm adding these in, um, that is true, um, that is true. Um, Elaine, I'm putting these in hot glue. <clears throat> so guys, while I'm doing this, um, I'm trying to find me a good show on Netflix. So I've got all of you on here. I consider you guys like my friends. So leave a comment. Let me know what the best show is on Netflix because I really am trying to find a good show. I've watched, it seems like everything on there and I just can't find another one that I really like. So leave your recommendations down below and I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna watch them. And then every time I come on here, I'll give you guys a shout out and let you know which one I like the most. Hi, Sophie. And guys, don't forget to sign up on our Facebook page for that designer giveaway. You get a chance to win, um, um, to come here, get a $75 value. You can make a wreath or an arrangement with me on the live video for everyone to see. Um, we'll have such a good time when you do that. But going on our Facebook page, there's a graphic on there, guys. And you will um, like the thing. You will share it. And you'll comment that you did both on that graphic, which Rebecca will post on our Facebook page. And that enters you to win. And we're going to announce the winner Saturday, March 10th, this Saturday. And I cannot wait to see who wins. And I can't wait to, you know, spend time with you guys in person. Of course, the traveling will be up to you guys. Um, hopefully, you can find a store near you. We have four locations. But if you're near Longview, if you can make it work, I will work with your schedule. And we will get you down here. And we'll have a great time. Okay. Let's see. Sherry, guys, she had bought her a glue skillet. Um, Brittany, I watched Ozark and I freaking love them. Love them, love them. Celeste, I've got a solution for you. All right. Celeste is asking, you know, what can she put on this particular spray for anti-fading? Um, what you can do, hey Rhonda, <clears throat> what you can do 
Guys, Rhonda is one of my friends, and she came in yesterday, and she did a Easter table with, uh, she kind of, um, I showed her, you know, our Easter table up here, and she kind of replicated it, but hers looks so good. I'm going to have Rebecca post those on Facebook so you guys can all see Rhonda's stuff because she is great. So for anti-fading or to repel stuff, guys, you can put um, Scotch Guard on your, um, cemetery saddle or any type of artificial flower that you're going to put outdoors. What Scotch Guard does, besides get you high, because I sprayed it over here one time, like I said before, the fan came on and, ooh, honey, it was blowing in my nose. I was high as a cat, almost. So you got to be careful when you spray it. Don't do it out in a windy yard or by the air conditioner or something. But spray this on your flowers. It repels um, from fading. It repels the rain, all kinds of stuff. So this is your solution. Okay, it's not just for your clothes. It's for artificial flowers, too. Okay. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Nicole. Gladys is asking if I've watched This Is Us, guys. I have never sat on the couch and cried like I have with that show. It's so freaking sad, but you just are so glued. You're so hooked. I feel like I know those characters. I feel like I see them all the time, and uh, I root for all of them. So if y'all have not seen This Is Us, that is one of my favorite top shows. It came on last night. I have it recorded. I can't wait to get home and watch it. Okay. I continue to add these flowers. Do I have any floral designers watching today? Y'all leave a comment and, and say hi. <clears throat> We've had a lot of floral designers that watch these videos. I love to interact with my people, as I call them, and, um, you know, meet them and all kinds of stuff. And we've had lots of uh, customers come in the store and I've met from the videos, and I appreciate it, guys. Come give me a hug and give me a shout out anytime that you're in. Uh, Damon, I did watch Dexter. I loved it. At first watched it, and I was like, oh, God. But it ended up being really good. You have to look past all the other stuff. But I did like it. Okay. So we're almost done with this side, guys. I'm going to kind of show you. We can have a space here, and you're going to fill in those spaces with the remainder of your blooms. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how to fill this in with some greenery, with some filler, and with the bow. Someone asked about a bow earlier. Hi, Janet. Scotch Dart um, does not change the, the texture, in my opinion. Once you spray it on here, it's just going to uh, put a little layer over the top of the flowers, kind of like a sealant, like you put on a wood deck or something. And it's going to help repel the fading and help the bleeding. So if it rains on it, it doesn't bleed all over your um, memorial stone because that's happened before in the past. Really, Damon? I'll have to check that out because I love... Uh, that show. Sometimes I get so into shows and I watch them forever and like I said, I get, I'm invested and they freaking cancel it or they end it. One of my other favorites is How to Get Away with Murder. I love it. Hi, Candy. Well, send us some photos. I'd love to see some of your stuff. Um, Nicole, I love The Resident. I watched that because the girl that plays, um, well, she was on Emily from Revenge. Um, that's one of my favorite shows and so that's why I watched The Resident, but it's really good. Hi, Mandy. Thanks, Mary and Joe. Okay, guys, so we've finished the flowers. So look at that. We have a beautiful shape and a beautiful outline. So here's a side view. Here's a side view. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to put one more flower. And as you do, as I pick this up, I look at it from all angles and I see I have a little space here. So I'm going to add one more flower and I'm going to add a white daisy to that. And then we're going to add some more of our leather leaf fern that we did at the beginning to create that outline before we began. All right, so I added that on there. All right, guys, so that's what we've got so far. And as you can see, I always alternate my blooms around so they're not all the same in there, okay? Lisa, thanks for watching, girl. Hope you're having a great day. Stranger Things is another one of my favorites. I'm not a sci-fi freak, you know, like, but I love Stranger Things. It's a really great show, and I enjoyed watching it. Hi, Barbara and Tanya. Thanks for watching. Okay, so once you have your flowers, you're going to grab that leather leaf fern that we'll use at the beginning. This is what it looks like here, guys. It's most commonly used in cemetery work and, and florals and stuff like that because it's inexpensive and you usually use it as filler. It's not something that's really that visible, okay? Jan, um, me too. That is exactly why I watch it. All right. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, D. Okay, so you're going to cut your um, or tear your leather leaf apart, okay? And trim the ends off because they are too long. They come really long. I'm going to trim those off. Hi, James. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm good. Um, hi, Dora. Okay. 
So this is what you're gonna look like right here. You've got a piece of leather leaf in it and you're gonna use the, the tallest pieces, okay, in the center because that's the tallest piece of our thing. You don't ever want the leather leaf to come above your blooms, guys. What we have so far is the shape that we want to keep. And so don't have stuff sticking way out up here or any of that. You wanna keep it within the shape and within the outline that you've created with the flowers. Uh, good morning, Renee. Good morning, Claudia. She's from New York. How's the weather in New York, Claudia? Uh, Tracy, I love Shameless. So you wanna make sure if it's too long, you trim some off the bottom, okay? And just kinda of play with it, okay? So it's still a little bit long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that bottom one off. So about right there, okay? And I have a pick machine here. I'm gonna pick this because it's easier to insert it in here. But you definitely don't have to, guys, no problem. All right, so I'm gonna push this in the center. Okay, so I'm gonna get that close where you can see what I did. I added this piece of leather leaf right in here. What that's doing, guys, like I said, it's not that visible, but these spaces that you see, that leather leaf helps um, fill that in. Okay, so it's great. Um, hi, uh, Clinell, thanks for watching. Uh, Sandy and Becky, hope everybody's having a great morning, beautiful day. All right, so we're gonna, like I started at the top of the arrangement, I'm gonna work my way down to the right and fill in um, spaces with this leather leaf fern that I'm using right here. Okay, and I'm gonna pick it up and show you guys in just a second the progress that we've made as we go. Okay, so I put it on this side. You can see the difference between this, the holes are filled versus all of these spaces here. So that's what we're doing. So we're gonna fill them with that leather leaf. Then I'm gonna show you how to add some white small bloom pill uh, filler and then a bow because everyone's asking about a bow. Beth, this is the pick machine I use right here. You can find them on Amazon. And do all angles of the um, leather leaf, guys. So on the sides, on the top, make sure you fill all the spaces in throughout the whole arrangement. Because if this is going to the cemetery, you'll see it from all sides because it's going on the top of a, a monument. Okay. Hi, Carol, thank you. Uh, Linda's asking about the cost for something this size. Um, guys, of course, here at the store, I make all this, so I have to charge a labor fee. So I'd probably charge this when we get done for about $59 or $69. But of course, if you do this and you take these techniques that I'm showing you, you can do your own and you can cut off that labor charge because you're actually doing the, um, the work yourself. Does anybody have any um, big plans for Easter? Easter's coming up and that's why the, every Tuesday for the past three or four weeks I've been doing Easter videos to show you all the decorating tips that you're gonna need for Easter. So if you have any big Easter plans, leave a comment down below. Are you guys gonna have dinner with your family? Um, you gonna cook? I love Easter, it's one of my favorite holidays. All right. So now, I have done this side. So now I'm gonna go and I just flipped it around and I'm gonna do this other side. Okay. Hi Neva, she's asking about the bows. And Neva, I was saying a minute ago, you can actually spray these flowers and spray your bows with Scotchgard and that'll help repel from fading and from bleeding. Okay, Brenda, hi, how are you? We're making a cemetery saddle um, that you can put at the cemetery on your loved one's grave. I showed you guys last week how to do the cemetery cones. So I'm gonna show showing you today how to do the saddle so that you guys will have the techniques that you need to make both of them at your home yourself. All right, so I have added all of my leather leaf, guys. So this is what we've got so far, okay? Show you all angles. As you can see, it really fills in those spaces, okay? So now, we are going to, oh, Jessica, I am jealous. She's gonna take her kids to Disney World. I love it. Let's see. Um, hi, Ann, I don't work with um, fresh flowers. I'm sorry. Hi, Trina. Um, happy birthday, girl. Her birthday is coming up. If you have anybody's birthdays today, leave a comment down below. I never thought about that. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if it's your birthday, if it's coming up. And if it is, hope everybody's having a great day and a great birthday coming up or today. 
Okay, so now we're gonna use some filler, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find a small bloom flower and we're gonna use that in here for filler. So any spaces or you know, holes, so to speak, that you see in this arrangement, we're gonna fill up with the filler. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to do that and we used baby's breath. Well, I thought, let's just change it up this, this time because um, I wanna show you the variety of stuff you can use. You don't always have to use uh, baby's breath for every single thing you do at the cemetery, even though it's popular. So I found this particular white flower here, as you can see, it's very pretty. It's still got a small bloom on it and this is called wax flower. Okay, so this is white, it's a wax flower and it's $5.99 and 25% off. So it's not a bad price. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these smaller blooms inside of these spaces and it's gonna create a great filler for this particular saddle, okay? Rita's asking how many stems of leather leaf I used. Um, they come in a bundle like this and I use two bundles and this stuff is so inexpensive and so it's really, you know, get the bang for your buck. Okay, well Beth, happy 40th. And guys, you don't look, Beth, you don't look 40, I can see your picture. Brenda, I'm from Longview, Texas, born and raised. I've been here forever. Susan's birthday is coming up. Mine's coming up in June, guys. I will be uh, 26 in June. So, get kicked off that insurance, gotta pay my own. <laughs> so, it's always, I'm 26, you know how that goes. Seems like after you turn 21, it just keeps going and going and going. The year's flying by, I can't believe it's already March. Okay. Well, thank you, Linda. Let's see. Okay, so, that's how you do the thing. So this is the filler we're gonna use, okay? So I'm gonna take my tags off and I'm gonna cut this apart. Okay, so I've got three bundles of, of uh, filler here and I'm gonna stick it in here and kind of measure, okay? Because like I said, I don't want it to go too tall. Trim it to where I need it to be. Then I'm gonna begin adding filler where you see spaces in your arrangements. Okay, so as you can see, I added one here. So I love that. I like the small bloom. You just really get a hint of what you're doing. All right. Hey, Jackie. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. Trina, well, you look 40, girl. You look 40. Hi, Kai. Hi, Linda. Okay. My birthday is June 13th. Someone's asking me, June 13th. All right, so we're gonna continue to cut this and we're gonna add this anywhere you have spaces in here and that's really going to, um, you know, fill this in, okay? Connie, <laughs> you're so funny, okay. I'm gonna turn it in just a second so you guys can see. As you can see, I'm adding the filler. You can see the little blooms right here. It really just adds a little bit something to this, okay? And you could do different colors. Say you wanna add a little purple in here, you could do purple filler and that will be pretty as well. You don't have to use white, okay? Cody, oh my God, we have the same birthday. Well, happy early birthday and hi, Linda. Thanks, Rita. All right, I'm gonna continue adding the filler. If we have any new viewers, guys, again, leave any comments down below with your name, where you're watching from, anything you'd like to see in the future. And if you'll do me a favor and share this video, I'd appreciate it. And go on our Facebook page and sign up for our designer giveaway contest. You, you and a friend will get a chance to come and work with me on the live video to get a $75 value to make a wreath of your choice. So I cannot wait. All right. I'm going to continue to add this filler. So as you can see, it's really making a difference. I love it. Love it, love it. All right, so we've got this one side done. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over here to this side and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take that small bloom and I'm gonna fill in all the spaces or holes that I have. Okay. Joe's asking, let's see. My family has fixed urns on the headstone. I do arrangements at home and then install them. 
You can do that. So Joe's asking, I think, if you already have permanent vases at the cemetery, like my dad's is like that, you put the vase, or the vase is already on there, you can do it at home. So like you can create a styrofoam cone at your house with flowers and then just go to the cemetery and place that in there. Or you can go to the cemetery, put the styrofoam in there and like sit on the ground and work from scratch. I've done it both ways. And at the cemetery, if I do it that way, Joe, I don't always glue my stuff at the cemetery because I can't very well like tow the extension cord around. Um, but if I find a way to do that, I'll let y'all know. But, um, you know, I do that as well. So you can do it both ways. Sometimes it's tricky, though, because you do um, a cemetery cone with a certain size styrofoam when you get to the, the cemetery and it won't fit in the container or the hole. And you kind of have to shave it down with a knife. Hi, Brenda. Thank you. So it's just kind of up to you. Let's see. Brandy, this is a hot glue skillet. You just buy it at Walmart. It's like something you cook fajitas in or chicken. You buy it on the aisle with, like, the toasters, and you can go from there. All right, so we're going to continue to cut these particular blooms up. Oh, Gail, I've tried battery glue guns, guys, but they just don't stay hot enough for some reason. I, if something's going to go wrong, it always happens, trust me. All right, we're going to continue to add this on here. And after we get done with this arrangement, guys, if you want... Hey, April, how are you? Um, after we get done with this arrangement, guys, if you want, I'll take you on a tour of the store. So if you'd like to see a tour, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you'd like to see. We've got lots of new products in each and every day. We have something come in those doors back there. And I want you guys to see everything because, like I announced yesterday, and I haven't even said something about it today, our online store is going to open back up. So for all of those people who are wanting to get our... our um, product at their house and it's not accessible to you because you don't live near one of our locations it's work we hired a staff member she's going to work on that she's going to upload stuff to our online store so everyone can purchase it and everyone um, can have these items at their home so it's just a matter of time it's going to be a few weeks while they get you know everything set in stone and everything worked out but it is coming soon okay all right, guys, so we will do a, sh a tour in just a few minutes. When we're done, we're getting near the end of this. I'm going to show you how to do the bow in just a minute and where you can add it on here as well. Hi, Nita, that's true. Thanks for watching. Hi, Guinea. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry to hear about your husband. Leave a, um, tag us in a, leave us a picture of what you made. We'd love to see. Love it. Well, Joe, I'm going to show you in just a second. I'm going to show you some new items in our store and what we've got going. Okay, so we're gonna continue to add these blooms on here. And we've just about finished. We filled in all the spaces in this particular arrangement and we're gonna go back now and we're gonna add a bow and that's really going to finish off this particular cemetery saddle. Hi, do you have a question? Yes. Can I put Give me just a outside? second, guys. Can I put this outside? Yeah. You'll be fine. All right. You're welcome. All right, so now we're going to add the bow once we have all the filler done. As you can see, that really helped fill it out. Okay. Um, Linda's asking about pick machines, guys. They range around $200, um, but it's an investment that you want to make because it will definitely take you through a lot of your projects. Okay. So I'm going to use this pink ribbon here, and I, the reason I'm using this is because it corresponds to the other cone that I showed you last week. So we're going to create a bow and guys i have bow tying videos on the video tabs on our facebook page we did one at christmas and we did one in the springtime so we can show you how to do both of those items so what you want to do is you're going to start with how long you want your tail of course so we're going to leave it a little bit longer we can always trim it so this is about a foot long and then we're going to continue to make our bow okay each time that you make a loop you want to twist because you want your pattern in this case it's you know all one color but you want your pattern to be on the correct side we're going to do this guys about five or six loops okay and depending on how big your saddle is or how big your project is you want to um, make the bow you know big enough where it fits in there as well morgan crazy okay hi olive thank you all right guys so i chose to do six loops on here okay so i'm going to tie this off with a pipe cleaner but you can also use a piece of wire if that's something that you guys have near you that works just as well. Uh, Trudy it brought up a good point, guys. Um, hi, Karen. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about your dad. Um, 
if you make a grapevine wreath, you do not want to use a pick machine in your wreath because that sharp pick will go out the back side of the wreath. You'll cut your hand or scrape up your door. So you want to make sure whenever you use pick machines, you put them in styrofoam or something where it's not going to poke out the other side. Okay. So now I'm going to twist my pipe cleaner on the back of here. And I'm going to put a pick on here. Now, if you don't have a pick machine accessible to you, you can use, um, you know, a stick with a piece of wire on it, and you can wire your bow on there as well that way. All right. All right, guys. So, we're going to put this right in the center of the saddle. And I have this pick on there, so I'm just going to press this down right in the center. Okay? And you can do this at home. You don't have to put it in the center of your saddle, but I'm choosing to here because it's going to be seen from all sides. All right, guys, so I, so I added my um, ribbon in the center here, my bow. And guys, again, you can make a bow to what you want to do. The larger the bow, the larger it's going to turn out and the bigger impact and the bigger statement it's going to make. So I just want a little bit of color and I left the tails long so I could blend them throughout the arrangement here. And again, I just stuck that bow on a pick in the center and that's how I did that. So guys, we've created this beautiful saddle from start to finish. And for all those wondering, you can definitely put bows all through your arrangement if you have a lot of spaces it's an inexpensive way to fill it up if you don't want to uh, buy greenery so this will work too all right someone asked just now how they can't get their saddle to stay on their parents grave well it has these things on here so you bend these you know to go around the tombstone and what i do is i take this leather leaf and i bend it down like this to hide the styrofoam and i get boxing tape clear boxing tape it doesn't damage your stone excuse me and you can wrap the edge of your um these legs okay wrap these legs around your tombstone and then pull that greenery down it'll hide it and that secures it girls so that when the rain comes or the, the wind it doesn't blow your cemetery saddle down the cemetery all right guys so are y'all ready for a tour i'm going to take you through the store i'm going to show you all the new products that we have before we say goodbye today and if you like this video so far guys please share it for me and anything that you want to see any new content or material leave that down below and we will definitely take that into account and come back to you with one of those requests like the cemetery saddle was today so let's see where we should start we've got lots of great um, farmhouse decor so we're going to start over there because that's really popular right now so this is our farmhouse decor as you can see We've incorporated lots of different things. I love, this is one of my favorite items. This is brand new, these scales. I'm gonna have to buy one of these for my house. So they're great for decoration, love them. And we also incorporated lots of farmhouse flowers in here, so to speak. So we've got the roosters, but we've got these beautiful orange red vases. And we incorporated um, yellow sunflowers with some feathers and arrangements in here as well. Lots of wood, lots of variegated metal, lots of tin. These trays are new, they're super cute, farm fresh. Look at this big clock. So we've got lots of farmhouse um, stuff. Love it. Morgan said we're jamming in here. We are, guys. We always are. So all of this stuff is super cute. We have lots of great furniture. All this this furniture is 25% off. Another one of those scales is a different shape. This one's kind of like an octagon. Morgan, do you like this scale? Because I think I want to get it for the house. Guys, this scale is only $39.99. Super cute. You can't even buy them that cheap at Canton. Love it. Here's the oven. I wish there was some cookies in there for me. Love that farmhouse sign. So all that is great. We have beautiful sconces, guys. What you can do with these is you can put them on each side of your mantle or your mirror. Love it. Love it, love it. Guys, we've got lots of patio furniture. And a huge selection, I mean huge, of pillows. I mean, my God. Any type of pillow, any design, any color, we have got that. And it will be great. Let's see. Lavana, it is a great price for the scales. I love it. Hi, Michelle. We're at the Longview, Texas location. Okay, guys. Here is another thing I want to tell you about. These are great items, okay? A lot of people see these small topiary trees and stuff, and they don't know what to do with them, and they're like, oh, my gosh. Um, I don't, you know, I like those in the store, but I don't know what I do with them at the house. Well, guys, they're great for built-ins or bookcases. So we have them here with some artificial books. They're great to go on your shelving, add some color. Um, we, I have these at my house and I leave them out all year round because they good, they'll get with all season. I do a 
these are great for fall even, you know, fall's coming up. And then at Christmas time, I used a, like a rustic lodge look this year with owls and stuff. And so these topiaries fit perfectly and I left them in my house. Hi, Tanya and Nicole, thank you. And see up here we have a cluster of them on top of the shelf as well. So, they're great for multi-purposes. Okay. We also have the topiary trees, the spiral ones. I love those as well. And that's the beautiful artwork. We've got lots of spring wreaths. So as I make my way back there, I'll show you. Lots of great patio furniture and lots of windmills, guys. And lanterns, again, lanterns are great. This is patio furniture. We've got one of our designer arrangements with a couple of lanterns, different heights, and a bird next to it, ceramic bird. That's great as well. Let me show you our, we've got lots of beautiful spring wreaths, guys. So this is some stuff we've made here in the store. This one's got beautiful poppies in it and some greenery. We've got this awesome one over here. I love it. It's got feathers in it. Poppies as well, protea. So all of this is here available for your purchase at Ellis. Here's another one. I love hydrangeas, guys. This is one of my favorite. It's got the burlap ribbon in there to accent with. It's got the long ivy, so it kind of elongates it on your door. I love it. Brenda, we do have wreaths with peonies. Here's one right here. We made this actually on a video. And succulents. We've got lots of succulents, guys. Love this wreath. Love it. Okay. Let's see what else, guys. We've got some more stuff up here I'm going to show you as well. And again, anything that you make, any tips or tricks that you take from us, share your photos for us. We'd love to see your work. We have people sending stuff all the time. And I mean, it's amazing to see what they do. And they all sit and they say, oh, I don't know how to design or I'm not that good. And their stuff is fabulous. Like, y'all need a job? Go hit me up here at Ellis. I mean, everything's great. And guys, if you ever want a chance to join our team here at Ellis, we're hiring right now for the spring greenhouse season. So come in and see us and see if you can join our team. So look at these guys. Morgan, I'm going to show you a wreath in a sec. Look at these frogs. We've got frogs galore. We've got rain gauges. I love all this stuff. How cute is this? This actually lights up, guys. So it's like a little solar light, and it sits right there. So I really like that. It's great for your yard, great for spring. How are you? Hi. Loving your video. Thank you. All right. So the succulents are one of my favorite, guys. We have, again, these foam flowers are new this year. I showed you how to put one yesterday on a lantern, and they're great for arrangements as well. It's to be blended in with the frogs. And this is one of my favorite wreaths. It's got succulents in it as well. Morgan, this is the one I like. It's got protea, it's got some cotton sprays in it, some lavender to add some color. I love it. So this will be great as well. This is a wreath that will kind of take you through your everyday seasons and it's not something you have to worry about changing. Hi Michelle, hi Gloria. All right guys, here's the mantle. Uh, let me not get in there. We did the mantle video the other day. I showed you guys how to create this beautiful mantle from start to finish. This is great for spring guys. It'll take you through Easter. Um, love it. So anyone who's interested in this mantle, guys, it is for sale like this because I made it or you can go and you can watch our video guys. And we had a customer come in the other day and she showed it as well. So if you've never been to our store, guys, leave a comment and let me know. Um, we do great at spring, but Christmas time is my favorite. I mean, as, guys, at Christmas time, we have so much stuff in here. We have beautiful trees decorated through every single room. You can actually find a preview, some photos and stuff on our Facebook page. Just go to the photo tab. I mean, all kinds of stuff. It's great, great, great. So if you ever wanted to come to our store and you ever want to plan a trip, guys, come either in the springtime because we've got tons of beautiful flowers or come at Christmas time because that is seriously when we transform this place into a winter wonderland and I love it. It feels like I'm in Santa's workshop every single day. Yet I still don't get no presents, but I still like it. Hi Joanne. Um the mantle arrangement is let's see how much it is. $319.99. Guys look at these these are awesome. These are new. These are um our gazing balls. So we have them in hanging and sitting. They come in beautiful colors. Look at the green one check this up. Hi, Tony. We have them in here in every color that you would need. And look, this is new stuff too, guys. These watering cans, <clears throat> they're for decorative purposes or you can use them. They're super cute. These are new for us this year. They come in a variety of colors, the dark blue, the teal, the purple, all kinds of stuff. So those are great. Someone asked about bird cages. We did a lantern video yesterday, guys, but look, we have a variety of bird cages. You can do the same type of design in the bird cage if that's something that you want to do. All right, 
Um, Fourth of July and Memorial Day is coming up, so we're getting ready and gearing up for that. We've got lots of products, lots of floral sprays. These are super cute. Look, they're like little rockets. Um, they're great to accent into your arrangements and your wreaths. So all of the stuff is coming up soon. More arrangements. Okay. And then over here, we've got lots more yard art, guys. We've got pottery, okay? Um, let me show you our pottery. We just got all this stuff in. It is beautiful. So look at the pots and the detail on these pots. Love it. Look, you can see me in there. They're so shiny. Love all the pottery. It's beautiful. These pots here are new this year. They've got little dragonflies on the front. Love them. These would be great guys to put. Um, hi, Dora. We can't wait to see you again. These are great to go by your pool or your front porch. And these are my favorite, guys. Look at this design. Super pretty. And this one up here. I love it. So all this pottery is new. It just came in the door. We've got more over here. Let me show you. We've got wind chimes. We've got freaking hummingbird feeders. Every kind you need. And all this Malaysian pottery is new. And it's really pretty. Look at like oval shaped. So it's not your traditional thing. Carol's asking about, can I show you how to do an arrangement in a watering can? And Carol, I'll take that down. I'm going to write that down. And I will definitely uh, do a video for you and show you. More watering cans. Y'all want to go out in the greenhouse? Let me show you all these beautiful flowers that we have out here. We've got um, hydrangeas. These are great for gifts or for your yard. They smell really good. Look at all these spring blooms right here. Love all this stuff. Hi, Tony. We're at Longview, Texas. This is Ellis Home and Garden. So all these beautiful plants, guys. You have no idea how much how many plants we get in for the spring season. And it is coming up. So these are all real. <clears throat> Let me show you over here. We've got more spring flowers. Look at those. Tulips. Wow. Look at all of these geraniums. So a lot of people, they watch our videos and they're not familiar with us and they're not sure that we have a greenhouse. But guys, we don't just carry, look at all that. We don't just carry artificial flowers and do design. We have all of this stuff for the greenhouse, guys. And any questions or comments that you have about anything for the greenhouse or anything related to that, leave them down below. We're going to do another video later in the week with Mark. He's our greenhouse manager. He's going to come to you. He's going to talk to you about planting. He's going to talk to you about what you can do with these plants and all of that kind of stuff. Look at this lavender. It smells so good. God, it's pretty. So that's awesome. Lots of greenery as well. So we've got the um, Boston ferns, which are great for the urns next to your front door. Lots of potato vine and ivy. So all of this is great. Love all of this stuff. So any questions about live flowers, again, leave that down below. We will definitely answer those to the best of our ability. All right. All right, guys. Hi, Jody. Um, okay, guys, so uh, that's about it for our video today. We came to you and showed you how to do the cemetery saddle. So, again, anything else that you want to see us do, whether it is, you know, cemetery-related or spring-related, I don't care if you want to tell me about a Christmas thing that you want to see right now. Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Also, guys, don't forget to sign up for our designer giveaway because we have that designer giveaway. You go to our Facebook page. There's a graphic on there that talks about it. You and a friend could come, and you could work with me for the day. Guys, you could... Um, make a arrangement or a wreath of your choice, um, $75 value. And all you have to do is you have to like that graphic, you have to share it, and you have to comment that you did both and you will be entered to win. And we're gonna announce this on Saturday, March 10th, this Saturday. So um, make sure you sign up guys, cause you don't wanna miss it. Of course, transportation's up to you, but you and your friend can plan a trip here. I will work with your schedule or any of the de designers that you choose and we will go from there. A lot of people are asking about funeral sprays, so we'll definitely do one of those too. So, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a beautiful day and a beautiful rest of their week. I'm sure I'll be talking to you again and seeing you again because I can't stay off of here. I love you guys so much for watching, 
And again, anything you want to know, any questions or comments, leave them down below. And we will definitely go back and read each and every comment and try to address things that we didn't. If I addressed you in the video, I probably won't respond back, guys. But if I didn't, I will answer all those that I can. So everybody, has, hope everybody has a great lunch. Uh, I think I want Mexican food today because we were talking about it earlier. I told you all I can eat that every meal. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope everybody has a blessed day.